Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to the workshop. If you're new here, my name is Ben. Uh, today I am, well this week, I'm working on the Aroma 3 XL. Uh, it's pretty exciting, it's coming along pretty well. This is the new machine. It's going exceptionally well. Such an awesome machine to work on. It's, it's like the, um, the Ferrari of machining worlds, essentially. It's really good. All right, this is what you have come to see. So this is the XL model that I've prototyped. This is the standard Aroma 3, which is everyone thinks this is quite hefty already. And now we have the XL. So my first prototyping started with this one. It's essentially a solid lid. The lid is way, 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 way too heavy. Someone is going to drop it and hurt themselves. So I came up with this. This is essentially a skeletonized version of the lid. So now that lid weighs the same, same weight as this lid. I think it's 236 grams each lid. I don't like the look of this. It gave me serious ashtray vibes. It just doesn't, it doesn't look as good as I can make it. So what I decided to do is pocket the lid out. Let me jump on here. So bring up the pool back together. So essentially the top looks like this. It's all pocketed out inside. And then we have a cap that goes over it. So I will be able to offer these caps in aluminium, different colors. The Founders Edition XL models will, have, will come with stainless steel caps and they will come with a few different colors as well. Uh, what I plan to do is release the file. So release the file of these caps. So you can make, essentially make your own. You can press magnets in, you can, you can put spoon holders, you can do whatever. This one is just 3D printed for now. So a few things with the Aroma 3 XL. It now has two bearings in the, in the lid. If you see down, if you see down in here, in the actual bearing, you'll see two bearings sitting on top of each other. <clears throat> that allows the lid, well, it stops the lid from rocking so much. So the lid now doesn't rock very much at all as compared to the Aroma 3. The Aroma 3 lid rocks considerably more because it's one bearing. That was sort of, um, <clears throat> sort of an, engineering, an engineering thing I had to solve was, was the rocking. So having two bearings, it really stops the rocking. It means I can make the post, the post slightly smaller so these bearings slide on and off of this post. So I can make that post slightly smaller and it doesn't rock as much. That means the lid is going to go on and off a lot easier. The magnet, I've just got an Aroma 3 magnet in there. It's just not enough. Oh, I think it might need a slightly stronger one or it might be okay as well. I'm keen to hear everyone's thoughts. <clears throat> so it's, it's, it's 82.5 millimeters diameter, which is, is pretty, pretty serious, pretty serious grinder. <clears throat> so I'm happy with this. What I plan to do is open pre-orders. So it might, a few things will change yet. Just, uh, I need to get some tooling to clean that floor up a little bit. So it will look like this one. So the plan is to release these. There's going to be a hundred founders edition units. They will be 200 US dollars each. They are going to come with a stainless steel cap and probably some 3D printed caps, maybe some anodized aluminum caps, but I can't promise what is going to happen with the caps. They are all going to come with a spoon. So what I have here, I've got a heap of blanks turned up and they're going to be turned into this spoon. So the spoon I've made to fit perfect with the profile of the Aroma 3. 
So you can see it goes in perfectly on the corners. It matches, matches perfectly. <clears throat> it's the same profile on the XL. So again, the spoon, the spoon will match perfectly. <clears throat> they're, going, they're going to be stainless steel. These are the blanks at the moment. I just need to machine the features into it. So machine the actual scoop. Yeah, so I'm going to release these essentially tonight for pre-order on the website. They will come with a spoon for 200. There's going to be a limited run of probably one or 200 of these XL Founders Editions. And then the price will probably be increasing from there. So yeah, jump in now if you can and you will get an XL for a discounted rate. It's quite hot in here. It's currently Saturday and 41 degrees Celsius to 41 to Fahrenheit. So it's going to be 105 degrees Fahrenheit today. So I'm getting out of here. Let me see if I can turn these around, if this works. No, uh, I'll do it manually. Okay, here I am. All right, so yeah, thank you. Um, it's been a pretty big week, but I feel like these, these XLs are, are going really well. Um, yeah, keen to hear everyone's thoughts. I've just posted an update on the FC uh, forums. Uh, you guys will be waiting for this video. Yeah, keen to hear everyone's thoughts. If anyone thinks things need changing or anything, I'm, I'm very interested to hear it. Um, I can do another week's prototyping or things and then, and then get into the final production of these things and get them in your hands. I uh, cannot wait. E exciting times ahead. Give you a bit of a, a look what's going on in the workshop. So the Aroma 3s are still in production over here. These are all the billets for the Aroma 3s. These are the fixtures. So there's parts all, all ready to go. The robot loads them. These are all finished parts ready to be handed up to me. Okay, we are getting out of here. I'll go and throw this video together, put it on, on YouTube, and keen to hear everyone's thoughts. This new machine is, is pretty, pretty good. It's like the Rolls Royce of the machining world. Super stoked with how it's all going. Very, very good machine. Very expensive machine, but very good machine. I'm very, very pleased with it. I couldn't have brought a better machine. This is sort of a setup, got a couple of toolboxes. This is a press for all, all my tool holders and things. I'll, I'll run you through it all at a later date, but yes. Going well, exciting times ahead. Thank you and I'll catch you on the next one.